Now, in order to learn how to do 3D on the iPad, we first have to learn the 3D modeling part and then the painting part. These are two separate programs that we're going to be using for each of these parts. So we're starting with the 3D modeling. And for that, we're going to use a software called Nomad Sculpt. That is what this video is going to be all about. And later on in the next video, we're going to be talking about Procreate and the 3D functionality in Procreate. So let's dive right into it. Let's start by downloading Nomad Sculpt. It costs a few dollars, but it really, really isn't that much for what you're getting because this program is actually pretty powerful. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open it because I've bought it already. So welcome to Nomad Sculpt. This should be the first screen that you see. And with one finger, you can start to rotate around the canvas. Two fingers pinching, you can zoom into it. And this should be pretty much all you need in order to navigate around the canvas. On the right hand panel right here, we have the contextual controls. So for example, I can tap on drag here. And very similar to Procreate, we have the brush size and we have the intensity. And with the drag activated, we can just drag the pixels around. Pretty cool. Two fingers to undo, three fingers to redo. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to create an ice cream. In order to do that, we first have to get rid of this sphere right here. And in order to do that, we go here. So in this menu, we have essentially all of the objects in this scene. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this sphere. And we're going to add a cone. If we go back in the menu here, I'm also going to duplicate this cone and move it up a little bit because we're going to use this a little bit later. Okay, for now, since we don't need to work on this section of the cone right now, I'm just going to go ahead and hide it. And now if I tap on the other one, you see this one got hidden. You can always retrieve it back just by going into here and then tapping on the eye icon. Okay, so let's start with the bottom cone, which should house the ice cream. The ice cream should go in this cone, but you see it's upside down. And to fix that, what we need to do is we need to tap on the gyroscope icon right here. So you see the icon that is appearing on the cone right here. This allows us to move it up and down, rotate it like this. We can also resize it like so, in this dimension right here. And we could rotate it like so and try to get exactly 180 degrees, but I want to get it exactly right. So I'm going to tap on this icon right here, which is called the gizmo. And in the matrix here, we see rotation. And in order to rotate it, exactly 180 degrees, we need to tap on the blue one right here. So we tap 180 here, and then it flips upside down. And you see now we have an ice cream cone that we can place the ice cream into. Just to demonstrate, I think you should get an idea of what I'm going with. If I just move this thing up like so, as you can see, we're going to change this into the ice cream and this should be the cone. And now we can start working on the ice cream itself. How and what are we going to do with this? I mean, it just looks really, really sharp and uh, boring and it's way too big, as you can see right here. And let's just take care of that first and by tapping on the green thing here, green triangle, and let's just give it a little bit of an edge like so. And that should be plenty. I also want to increase the length of it like so, like so. So now let's make this look more like an ice cream. And to do that, I'm going to use the drag functionality on the right here. By increasing the brush radius, I'm going to now go ahead and just sort of warp it a little bit to make it look more like an ice cream. Just going to sort of drag this around. But before we go ahead and drag it, I'm just going to make sure that symmetry is turned off because we don't need symmetry activated in this instance. Let's just go ahead now and warp it a little bit. And what I'm going for here is like a classical spiral ice cream. So a soft ice, I think it's called. Okay, that's beginning to look pretty good. You see the lip right here, it's a little bit too pronounced. So I'm going to take care of that. We could either Go ahead and do very minute changes here by just decreasing this like so all the way around. But there is a quicker way to do this and that's by using the smooth option. Now smooth makes everything that is jagged a little bit less jagged. By using the smooth function on the lip right here, we can make it a little bit more 
well, smooth, as you can see. Much more akin to what an ice cream actually looks like. Don't worry about this, we'll take care of this in just a little bit. But we're just gonna smooth it out a little bit so that it's more like an ice cream. <laughs> All right, it's beginning to look pretty good. So very quickly, I'm gonna take care of this thing right here. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of a drip because all ice creams drip. So let's just add that to it. I'm just gonna drag the pixels out in this instance and then down. And you see it's starting to do weird things right here. There's not enough geometry available right here. So I'm just gonna make sure to smooth this out so that we don't get any major errors in the model. And there are ways to increase the surface geometry and if you're interested in that let me know because i might do a follow-up video about that in the future or just in general if you want to see more 3d modeling videos on this channel let me know okay a little bit of a drip here let's push it in here like so okay and now i'm going to do a similar thing here And if you accidentally tap on the other cone um, and you can't use the tools anymore, well, just make sure to tap back in the cone itself, on the ice cream itself, and then you can use the tools. All right, that is pretty much where I wanna go with the ice cream part itself. So let's now go ahead and give it a little bit of a glaze. So in Iceland, what they do is they take the ice cream and they dip it in some chocolate or something like that, floating chocolate, and that hardens, and it creates this really nice glaze on top. We're gonna do that exact same thing with this ice cream. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. First of all, you need to go back in the cone right here. Wait for it to autosave. And now we're gonna duplicate this cone, which is selected right here. Duplicate that. And now we're gonna go into the gizmo. We're just gonna move it up just a tad bit. And we're gonna scale it also. That should be plenty. We're not trying to increase the size too much, just a little bit. Let's actually take care of this right now. So with the track functionality activated, we go and we just pull this out so that it covers the entire area there. Same thing here. There we go. All right, now often what they'll do in Iceland is they'll glaze half of the ice cream and leave the rest here unglazed. So you'll see ice cream and then chocolate and maybe like a cherry on top or something like that. The way to do that in Nomad Sculpt is essentially we're going to use the trim tool. And by choosing lasso here, the lasso in the trim, and we're just going to do a cut about there ish. Yeah, something like this. And now with the smooth tool, we're just going to smooth it out to make sure the edges aren't you know, this wrinkly. Smooth it out, smooth it out. And also gonna drag it a little bit because the glaze often tends to drag down. Something like this should do pretty, pretty nicely. There we go. This is starting to look pretty good. Now I do think it needs a little bit of a detail to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate down here into the crease functionality. I'm just gonna create these channels. You sub, activate that, increase the brush size a little bit. And that's gonna create like a, a little bit of a crease where I draw, just defining the ads a little bit. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try to accentuate the the curvature here. Something like this, something like that. And then tap sub off, and then it goes in. So sub off, it goes in, sub on, it goes out. Not too much. Probably should have done this step earlier in the process, but you can just tap on the other one here and add to it. What we're doing is we're just adding a little bit of a texture to it and uh, making it look a little bit more defined like an ice cream. Because ice creams are soft, but they're not that soft. So just adding a little bit of a complexity helps to sell the idea. Okay, so now we've made an ice cream with a cone and a little bit of a topping. In the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this ice cream the texture 
and the color that it deserves. So we're gonna add a little bit of a waffle form on the cone here. We're gonna add some glazing on top with some reflectivity, and that's all gonna be using Procreate. So that is how you create a 3D model on the iPad using Nomad Sculpt. But that's just half of the story, because we need to paint on the 3D model. We need to put some chocolate glazing on the top. We need to put a waffle form on the bottom. I need to show you how to import the 3D model into Procreate, and of course, how to show it in augmented reality, just like this. So you probably don't wanna miss that video. It's gonna be linked right here. And don't forget, if you like these videos, the thumbs up button really helps to spread the word and subscribe if you want to see more videos from the channel. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.